Hey guys, it's Tiffany back with another episode of Meet the Trainers for TACCON 2023. And this is the weird episode because the trainer you are meeting, at least half of the trainer you're meeting is me. So I have an episode with myself, which is weird, but it's not just me. I'm also here with my better half in the training world, Akil Kadir. So we're going to talk about our class at TACCON, The Lost Art of Teaching beginners. So, Ak, um, why don't you start by introducing yourself for those who don't know you? What's going on, y'all? I'm Ak, uh, Akil Kadir down here in the sunny climes of Murfreesboro, Tennessee, where we run Citizen Safety Academy, me and my wonder ten, twin, Tiff Johnson. And down here, we specialize in gateway instructing and developing, uh, gateway instruction and developing gateway instructors. Um, my background has got a little bit of law enforcement, um, still do a little bit of a little bit added on the federal level as far as training. Um, but mainly we love teaching new people how to shoot. Um, and so that's what we do down here. And um, my, my partner Tiff helped me out with that because I wasn't really good at it until she came along. And now things are wonder running wonderfully down here. So yes, that's <laughs> us. So I guess that's the segue to my background. And some of you may have heard this story because I feel like I tell this story all the time. So I apologize if you're sick of hearing this little this little tidbit about me, but I'll, I'll condense it. The short version is um, my background is basically the polar opposite of Akil's. Akil grew up in a gun owning family where gun safety was taught uh, religiously. Me, on the other hand, I did not grow up around guns. I did not like guns. I was afraid of guns until I was in my 20s. Um, and that's when I finally worked up the courage to take a class, mainly just to the kind of bucket list, face your fears kind of thing. Um, I did not expect to continue on with more training. And the only reason I did after that one class is because by sheer luck and grace of God, I happened to get really good gateway instructors, really good instructors to set the stage for me as I entered the training community. Um, and those instructors happen to be Tom Givens and his crew at Range Master. So again, I'm, I, I think I might be one of the luckiest people in the training world by just randomly walking into Range Master one day, even though I didn't know anything about Tom Givens. And thankfully, he saw fit to uh, take me under his wing. And I guess the rest is history. And it's through Range Master that I have the pleasure of meeting and working with all of you. It's through Range Master that I met Akil and get to work with Citizen Safety Academy. And it is also because of Range Master that I have such an affinity for this space for what Akil calls gateway instruction, which is teaching brand spanking new beginners. Because I remember what it feels like to be a brand spanking new beginner. And I'm talking about like beginner as in never touched a gun, never laid eyes on a gun, don't know anything about guns, like terrified of guns. And I think that there's probably a bit of a blind spot in the training community for that target market because most of us have been working with firearms for so long that we don't remember what it feels like to be that new and to be afraid or to be confused by the mechanics of guns or anything along those lines. And so I love being able to relate to new students in that space and being able to assure them that I know what it feels like to be terrified that you're about to have a mini explosion go off in your hands. And, and I like working with them to, to get through that experience, which is oftentimes just as much an emotional experience as it is a, um, a rational or intellectual one. So that's why I love teaching this subject. Our class at TACCON is the lost art of teaching beginners because we do think it's a lost art. And I don't know, Ak, if you want to kind of chime in on that, but we really kind of zeroed in a couple of years ago on just how much the degree to which the training community really was, I think, kind of leaving this market behind. Um, and it was Ak who really shone a light on it for me. So you want to talk about that a little bit? Can you hear me? 
I can, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So, yeah, I think that um, over the years, well, if you think historically, my I've been around this, doing this stuff since the 80s, um, and my dad was into the gun culture, um, like more or less an offshoot of the gun culture. But um, <laughs> things were assumed a lot of times about p gun people and people who came into the gun culture, and I don't think we can do that anymore in uh, what David Yamane calls gun culture 2.0. Um, but we've oftentimes what happens with uh, with people like us who've been doing it for a while and we've learned a lot is that we kind of forget what it was like to be um, a newbie. And uh, and we mean well. Most of us, we really want to help. We want them to learn a lot. We want them to to come and do and, and, and enjoy what we enjoy as far as shooting guns, owning guns. Um, but we often forget that um, what it was like when we first started and some and some of us who, who grew up around it like I do don't know what it's like to be new to that and don't know what it's like to be emotional about it. And so what we're here to do is, is to remind you um, what it was like when you started uh, and maybe teach you, if you didn't start like that, what other people might be experiencing um, and and help you to, to make make better choices, make better decisions and, and invite more and more people into the Second Amendment culture. Absolutely. So this is a two hour um, classroom block. And we're going to talk about a lot of stuff. Uh, if you are working with new shooters or if you know people in your family or in your circle of friends um, who might be teetering on some hesitant interest in firearms training, but they are they are anxious or they are, you know, they've got some reservations. All of those folks are welcome. This would be a great class for you. You don't have to be actively teaching to get something out of this class. We're going to talk about some of the blind spots that I mentioned earlier, some things that, like Ox said, we, we all mean well, or at least most of us mean well, but uh, hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll bring to your attention some things that you may not even think about, like perspectives, like optical and visual perspectives of students that don't occur to us if we've got a billion reps at, you know, looking through our rear sight or um, the nature of fear, why students are afraid of guns and why you could be setting yourself up for failure or at least some speed bumps as an instructor if you say things like, well, guns aren't scary, okay? Um, we're going to talk about how to translate industry jargon into approachable, accessible language. Um, we're going to talk about how to broach that first shot, you know? We're going to talk about how to get butts in seats, how to convert the person who is looking through the window outside of the training community into someone who feels comfortable stepping across the threshold and into your classroom or onto your range. Lots and lots and lots of stuff we're going to deal with. Gun culture 2.0. We're now heading into gun culture 3.0. How do you um how do you incorporate your product, your offering, your service, or simply your communication with friends and family right. about the Second Amendment? How do we incorporate present day culture um, and the changing demographics into our communication skills? vis-a-vis -vis the second amendment all of that's going to come into play and we akil and i are hoping to learn as much from you all as we hope you learn from us so come on in share your ideas let's do some brainstorming we're also going to give you some concrete things that you can hopefully take back to your own training communities and bring more folks into this wonderful world that we call the training what is it Tom says? It's not an industry. The not an industry, it's a community. <laughs> <laughs> not even, it's not even a cottage industry. It's a community. That's Gordon right. on a family, really. You know? <laughs> That's right. We, it's so small that we we just we can't afford to lose people over something as silly as miscommunication. So we that's why we developed this uh this instructional block and and we hope it's helpful to you. So the lost art of teaching beginners, we are offering this lecture. I hate to call it a lecture because it's going to be interactive, okay? Right. If you've ever been to one of our classes, you, you should know Akil and I don't just stand up there and yap at you. <laughs> It'll be an interactive um, interactive session. And we are offering it at 4 o'clock on Friday and again at 4 o'clock on Sunday. So we hope to see you there. Thanks, Ak. Thanks, everybody. We will see you all in Dallas.